If you're in the mood for a healthy salad that packs a big punch, I have the perfect recipe for you. A grilled avocado salad filled with lots of vibrant flavor, smoky tastes, and really ridiculously good green goddess dressing. It starts off in a blender with some chives. So I'm gonna get my green goddess on with a little bit of chives. So this is gonna give you that wonderful sort of onion hum through this dressing. You can use any herbs you like here. You could add some coriander, you could add some basil. It's totally up to you. In fact, I have some basil, which I'm gonna take a handful and put it in here too. So alongside all my herbs, the interesting thing about this dressing is that it gets its creaminess from half an avocado. So I have a nice ripe avocado here, but I'm gonna take half and stick it straight in here. So we're going in there with the juice of some lime. I suppose this is essentially a deconstructed guacamole salad. You have all the essential elements. You've got the cilantro, you've got the avocado, and I guess we're umping it up, making it a little bit more healthy with the addition of tomatoes, some salad leaves. It's gonna be good, but it's gonna have that essential guacamole taste, and it really is wonderful. To add to all that sort of onion flavor in there from the chives, we're gonna add in a touch of garlic. Now, be gentle with your garlic. You don't wanna to add too much here, otherwise it can overpower. So just a nice small clove of garlic will do the business here. Stick it in the blender. We're gonna go in there with a touch of hot sauce. Just a tiny little drizzle will do the job here. Boop. Nice. And then for more acidity, and just to round out the flavor of this dressing, is some white wine vinegar. So about two tablespoons going in here. Before we blitz it up, season it with some sea salt and some black pepper. And the thing about dressings is that you have to taste as you go along. So I'm gonna blitz this up, see how it tastes, and then we can check it and see if it needs anything else. Okay, this is looking really good. Now, it kind of looks a bit too thick for my liking, but I'm just gonna taste a tiny touch of it. Mm. Ooh, it has that wonderful acidic bite from the white wine vinegar and all that lime juice in there. But I do think it needs to be loosened out a little bit, so I'm adding some extra virgin olive oil. About a tablespoon will do here. Stick the lid back on and you're just gonna blitz it up. Apart from that, it tastes really good. We are in business. This is just the right consistency. It's not like a guacamole at all. You've got this thick, creamy, velvety salad dressing, which is gonna go amazingly over the top of this brilliant salad. But what we're gonna do is make it all a little extra exciting by griddling our avocados, getting a rich, smoky char on the outside so that you give loads more flavor to this salad. Now, it seems like a crazy idea to heat avocados, but adding that smokiness just adds so much more flavor. So if you've never grilled your avocados, please, this is the chance to try. Once you have all your avocado stones removed, just using your spoon, scoop them out, and you're looking for them to all stay just about in one shape. The key here is to get nice, firm avocados. You want them to be ripe, but they also need to be firm, otherwise they're just gonna go mushy on the pan, and you don't want a mushy avocado. So just carefully spoon around the flesh and remove them from the skin, just like that. A top tip, if you remove avocados from the skin like this and you don't wanna use them straight away, give them a squeeze of lime juice and it'll just prevent them from going brown. The acidity in the lime juice will prevent it happening, so it is a good little tip to do. So I'm just gonna sprinkle these with a little bit of salt and then I'm also gonna just drizzle these with some olive oil. Give them all a nice little massage with that olive oil all the way around, just so that they're nicely coated, and then get them straight onto a hot griddle pan. You should be looking for a sizzle. Ooh, that's exactly what we want. You're looking for deep char marks here, so don't be afraid to leave them on. They're gonna need about two to three minutes just until they have those nice char marks, and then we're gonna turn them over. Now, while these avocados get that really rich, dark color, I'm also going to get on with the rest of this salad. So I have some red onion and I have some nice lettuce, but I'm gonna start off by slicing up this red onion. I'm probably gonna need only about half of this very large onion, but you want a generous amount. It adds great color and it also adds that sort of oniony bite. So just using a very sharp knife, you want thin slices on your onion. Okay, this is ready to rock. So I'm gonna start assembling this salad. I have a beautiful head of lettuce and this has been washed. So just crack off those leaves and this creates a wonderful base for this salad. So you can use baby gem lettuce, you can use a whole host of different lettuce leaves, but I think this one has that wonderful sort of buttery taste and really crisp texture as well. Now that I have all my salad leaves looking very beautiful, it's time to get in there with some of this onion. You just wanna sprinkle this around I absolutely love salads that have this fresh taste. 
For some nice color and sweetness, I'm gonna go in there with some cherry tomatoes. Just sprinkle them in and around. I've got some nice varieties here. And then just pick off some of those fresh coriander leaves. This really does make a difference to this salad. It just adds that extra fresh taste. It also kind of echoes the flavor that you get from a traditional guacamole as well. It's gonna work really well with the avocado. And I can hear and smell that my avocados are just about ready, so let's have a look. Let's turn them over. Oh yes, that is the smoky charred look you are looking for with these avocados. So they're ready to be turned. Look at that. Now we're talking. Okay, they are looking pretty good. So they're only gonna need another minute or so on this side. I'm gonna slice them up and serve them over the salad. Okay, these are looking absolutely fantastic right now. So just transfer them over to a board. It really does feel like a strange thing to do to an avocado, but believe me, if you try this, you will understand that that smoky flavor just adds so much. So just bring a knife straight down the center. I'm gonna open them out you get that vibrant green against that really rich, dark color. And now, it's just a case of decorating them in alongside the rest of your salad. Now this looks good just as it is, but to finish it off, don't forget we have that brilliant Green Goddess dressing. So just give it a nice drizzle over each avocado, and that is just gonna hum with brilliant garlicky flavor, all those wonderful herbs in there. And once you toss this all together, it is a proper meal that you're gonna be very satisfied with. Okay, this looks pretty good. And that, my friends, is a green goddess salad with charred avocado, lots of great vibrant flavors. You've got the onions, you've got the cherry tomatoes, and I do think I need to try some. Okay, I have got the avocado, I've got the onion, I've got all that beautiful salad dressing. Mm. That is a seriously meaty tasting salad. I know it's completely vegetarian, but you get that intense smoky taste from the char grilling of the avocados. That creamy humming dressing just works so well and it's vibrantly green. This is a fantastic healthy salad that I hope you'll give a go. If you want the recipe, you can check it out in the box below. Make sure to like this video, make sure to share it, subscribe to the channel for lots more delicious recipes just like this one. And of course, leave me a comment letting me know if you're gonna make this tasty salad too. See you soon guys.